So first of all, as usual, let's take a look under the insert and hope we find something there. Well, of course not, because we hardly ever do, right? Also, let's take a look under the insert. Anything there? Nope. But first, let's take a look under the insert again. Nope. Nothing there. Hey everyone, this is Attackers and I'm really excited today because um, I'm unboxing Tapestry together with you. This has been lying and <laughs> lying here at home for like one and a half or two weeks probably. I think one and a half weeks or something um, because I ordered like uh, the entire thing but like one expansion was missing but like the uh, the customer service of so many games was so great. They immediately sent me like the expansion that was missing and now I got everything here. This is really cool because um, I have played Tables 3 twice on Board Game Arena and I enjoyed it so much that I went all in. When I, mean, when I say all in, I mean all in. I got the base game. I got the revised adjusted rebalanced civilization pack um, that like is based on like more than thousand I think more than thousand data information uh, I think um, and then we have like all three expansions here um, like one two and three all three expansions and that's not all I even got the official folded space insert uh, like the the colored one here so really cool and we will take a look at everything today one small or a rather large disclaimer. Um, I really, really badly hurt my wrist uh, these days. Uh, but I really want to play this game and I want to show it to you. So that's why I'm tr trying to record anyway. But it will be kind of hard for me to record. I will just try, right? Um, so this unboxing might be a little bit different than most. Um, but I will do my best uh, to not hurt myself too much here. Um, to not be in too much pain today. Um, but also uh, unbox the game. I'm really looking forward to this. Like this is an, such a cool game. And I hope I will enjoy it like also solo and with the expansions. I've only played the base game multiplayer so far. So really excited for that. All right. Let me get like all of these out of the way. And then we can continue. So there we are. I just need to be a little bit careful. Um, but with left my left hand is fine. So let's just see how we can do that. All right, Tapestry, Civilization game. Um, designed by Jamie Segmeyer, art by Andrew Bosley, and sculpts by Ron Brown, because yes, there are miniatures in here. And as far as I know, they are, are painted. This game is like totally overproduced, but um, from the images I've seen, it's really cool. All right, so let me see if I can somehow flip the box a little bit for you. There we go. So it's one to five players, ages 12 and up, and 90 to 120 minutes. And then let me see if I can flip the box over. Yeah, it's, it's possible. I think we can get this... We can get the show on the road and then we have like uh uh yeah we see like how the um image looks like how the game looks like i haven't just haven't seen it in person but i know how it looks like because i've played it on board game arena and then you see like you have like painted landmark miniatures as, as, as i said it's totally overproduced um but it is like really cool it is quite cool all right so okay so let us open open this up um that might be no that actually works okay i can get it to work i just need to be a little bit careful here all right so i'm really excited i'm really really excited so here we, we have the rules um that are not very long but i mean the game is quite simple regarding rules this is quite an elegant game because the rules are really simple but like the strategy behind that is not um is nothing to scoff at uh so uh, yeah, so this is like the setup here, like exactly immediately on the first page. That's very cool. It's like a pretty simple setup. And the cool thing is you see like all the numbers here and the numbers up there in different colors even. So you have like the global and the player setup in one image. You don't see that very often. That's nice. And also the rulebook feels great. Again, as usual, all like um, all Soma Games rulebooks have like this linen finish here. They, they feel like really great. Um, and then here we have the gameplay. There isn't a whole lot. You get your income. Then you use your civilization, play a tapestry card. Um, then you can upgrade tech cards, gain victory points, gain income, and then you just advance um, on these four tracks. That's all you do. And like you see like a lot of images here, like really well laid out. And that's already all that you need pretty much. Um, and then it like tells you like how um, you build like your cities here. And that is already it. I mean, uh, like a pretty, pretty simple. Um, it's a very elegant game because as I said, simple rules, but quite um, a lot of strategy there. And this is the Arvama. The Automa is just a little bit thicker. No, it has just as many pages. Um, I don't know how the Automa is, but usually like the solo mode in so many games is always good. So let's see here, components. We have an income map for the Automa. We have decision cards, civilization cards, player aid cards and income cards, okay. And then like we have setup here. 
without image, unfortunately, but okay. And then here we have like the uh, the bot turn. Yeah, it's just pr pretty simple again. You have like one card and like it says everything that you need to do for the bot. Shouldn't be too difficult. Um, also like layout, great again as usual. And then here we have a Shadow Empire variant. Oh, okay. Um, to add more interaction to a game with two human players. Oh, that's cool. Oh, so you have like another bot, so to speak, in a two player game. Um, so it's similar to, ah, so you probably use the stuff from the autumn, not just a little bit simpler because you see, it's just this one page here. Very cool. And this is like, like really nice cardboard. So like in ter terms of components, it's great, but that's always like the case with some of games. Then we have a reference guide twice, of the, twice. That's good. Um, but it's like all the different, like all tracks I explained, that is really good. Nice. And here we have like the, I, call, I think they call it invention cards, right? Um, the cards you can get that you can like upgrade during the play, during your game. I don't play with these too often, actually. That's like a strategy I need to like uh, go after a little bit more in the other reference guide as well. All right. So, and now here we have the game board already and, oh, and more stuff. All right. Let me quickly open that up with a knife. Um, I will just uh, do an edit here because I will probably take too long. <laughs> All right, there we go. So let's take a look at all of this. So here we have like, these are the different cities. And oh, these feel really cool. These feel like really chorus here. Oh, I like this. This feels great. And um, then we also have like a little uh, image here at the back. That's very nice. Very cool, like a little sketchy, uh, like a sketch image and uh, come on. So here we have like all the different uh, like um, regions. I'm not quite sure how these are called that the players can take. Very cool. And then like like on these spots, you cannot put everything, uh, anything, right? Um, but like in here, you can like put like the landmarks and like the barracks and whatever you can get, right? And when you feel like such a um, three by three um, scare, square or tile set, you actually um, get like a resource. So that is pretty cool. Yeah, nice. Very nice. These are very cool. And then here we have uh, oh, this is where you put like the buildings on, right? Like at the beginning of the game, you put like the buildings on here and then you see like which ones are still available, which you can still get because it's like kind of also a race uh, for like the best buildings, like also like really thick cardboard here. So wonderful. Great. Is it like a shame that here on the back there's nothing, right? And like on these, there was something. So, but apart from that, really cool. And then here we have like the player mats. Um, the player mats are here. Here put the, like your resource tokens, so you know like um, you put like the yellow one here, like the the coins. You put them on three when you have like three, right? And then you just adjust them as you uh, as you gain or lose resources. Here you put your tapestry cards, and I thought they would be bigger. I thought they were like tarot size, but they are actually quite small, which is good, nice. Um, and then here uh, you have like the, you put like these small buildings on you, like the barracks and stuff, like the the barracks, farms, markets. Oh no, armories they're called, not barracks and houses. And like whenever you build one, you take it off, and then you get like the bonus underneath that. So also like really coarse here, and like a really nice image at the back. Could almost almost belong to site thematically, but they all like look the same, right? Yeah, yeah, they do. There's no asymmetry here, but there is asymmetry in the civilizations you choose. And oh, there's something here. And this is, oh, I'm not quite sure what this is. Ah, oh, this is for the autumn. That's why I don't know it. Okay, yeah, cool. Oh, and oh, there's something in the back as well. Ah, oh, hard and normal. Okay, very good. Then here we have tiles. Um, so these are the uh, regular tiles you put on the you put on the board, like when you like explore and like kind of yeah, when you explore and see what's around you. Um, and also like they have these space tiles that are quite strong actually. Um, you get them like at the end of the exploration track. So let's just take, you know what? Let's take one of each and take a look at those. So uh, yeah, really nice thick tiles. Like also like something uh, like a few uh, drawings here at the back, really cool. And yeah, these look and feel really great. They have like a little finish here as well. Yeah, these just, ah, these feel amazing. I think it's a great thing. I mean, games are a haptic thing, right? They are haptic and it's like always great when uh, games just feel and look great as well. Um, additionally to like a good gameplay. And then here we have the board. Um, I will not be able to show you the entire board, but let me just show you a bit here. So um, like on all four sides, you have these tracks, right? 
Um, there's also a yellow one on the other side here. And then you have like the map in the middle and you start like on one of these positions. And then you can like, um, when you, it's like also a little bit area, majority of area control is also in there. You can like spread out your influence, right? But you can also do that on explored tiles. And these are all unexplored. And this is like where these small tiles come in that you can explore, right? Um, exactly. And like here, of course, then the, the, the point tracker. So pretty cool. Um, let us turn that around so we can also, you see here, here's like start of the yellow track then, right? So yeah, very cool. I like that. All right, here are all these civilizations. And these are a lot of civilizations already, but in the expansions, there are even more. So that is pretty amazing. So let's put that aside for now. And you see, already see like all these buildings here. That is going to be great to unbox in just a moment. You know what? Let's take a look at the cards first. I can open it with my left hand. That is wonderful because from the right hand, I wouldn't be. Oh, uh, well, let me just open those up quickly. So here we go. Here we have the cards. So these are like the tapestry cards. Um, it's nice that they're such a small format. Uh, I'm not sure yet whether I will sleeve them or not, but they should fit in the insert. It's kind of sad because this insert is like really cool as well, but I want to fit like all expansions in there and stuff. So this is going to be a little bit tough. So yeah, uh, really cool. Like really nice art style here. This is kind of tough to show off, but it works. Nice. Yeah, really cool artwork. I like, I like this a lot. Now oh, there's some cards I remember that I had. I used this one already here, I think. Yeah, there are some that I remember. This one, the Academia, I had as well in, in one online game. So very, very cool. And these are like, you play them at the beginning of um, of each uh, of each age, are they called? Like each like round, right? There are like three rounds. I don't know if they're called ages or whatever. I'm not quite sure. And then you play one of these, and these that give you either an instant benefit or something that... Um, ah, error. They're called errors. And or they do like something for the entire era or maybe even for the entire game. No, it's only for the era. Yeah. So here you see like when played and then you do it's like an immediate effect, right? And this error, this is like for the entire round then. Yeah, very cool. Ah, I had this at some point as well. Yeah, very cool. Very nice. And let's take a look at the backs. Oh, oh, wait, no. What is this here? Okay, so first of all, like the backs here are really cool as well. But what is this here? So level four, level one. Ah, that's probably for the Automa. I suppose that's for the Automa. I guess. And this one is then the player. These are the player aids. Not a whole lot, but that is um, also not needed because, like, as I said, the game isn't too complex regarding rules. And then here we have the um, the inventions, as I as I mentioned, right? Um, you can also, like, get these when you, like, advance on the yellow track. And these you can also upgrade, and then you get, like, uh, uh, like um, resources and stuff. So really cool. Like, the artwork is really nice. I really enjoy the artwork. Oops. Gotta say. Very, very nice. What do we have here? Ah, this is for the Automa. These are the, the Automa, like these activation cards, or how they were called. Um, the decision cards, I don't, I don't quite know. Um, here, like what the Automa is doing. So that is something that I will have to figure out when I... Yeah, when I first try the Automa. I will try that as soon as possible because I really like the game and I hope that there's like a new game that I can play solo like really well. All right, then we have a few dice. Ah, it's actually easy enough to open. There we go. Uh, looking forward to seeing the dice. And these look pretty nice. Sorry, it's a little bit loud. There we go. Okay. Oh, yeah, these, these feel nice. These look great. These look really nice. They're all, like, etched in here, so to speak, right? So there's, like, a little profile here. It's not just uh, painted on. So very, very cool. And these, yeah, these feel really good. These feel great. These are like, um, you just roll those sometimes like in the game, like whenever you, uh, I think whenever you um, spread your influence, you can roll one of those. Um, like on, on the on the green track, you can roll this one here. Um, so there are like several instances in the game where you get to roll these dice. Not every turn, but just like sometimes, depending on what you actually do. And then here are the civilizations. Um, I haven't played with a whole lot of civilizations yet. Well, you can guess how many? Two. We have played the game twice, right? And... Um, this, this is like the main gist of the game here, right? Because all these, these are all, um, these are all um, asymmetrical. That means they all give you like different, um, different like ways to play the game, uh, different basic conditions, so to speak, different abilities. And that is like really exciting. This is like where the, like the main gist of the games come in, game comes in. And like these, I don't know how many these are, 
But like with all the expansion, I think there should be around 35 or 40. I'm not quite sure, but quite a lot. Um, so the story here behind those in the base game is that these were quite unbalanced. And also in like the first and second expansion, I think they were a little bit unbalanced. So this is why like that Sif pack we will take a look at later came out based on like a lot of data. I think like uh, uh, like more than a thousand like data points, so to speak. Um, and um, these are like the final revised civilization mats from, yeah, from the base game in the first two expansions. Um, and they just balance these expand uh, these these uh, civilizations. So it means that these here um, I will not need in the in the main game, right? So I can just put leave them in like one of the expansion boxes and put it in the basement because I will uh, of course use the rebalanced ones, right? Of course, um, why why wouldn't I? And online on BGA there already are the the um, the revised ones. All right. So first of all, as usual, let's take a look under the insert and hope we find something there. Well, of course not, because we hardly ever do, right? So let me put that back in here. Oops. So, and then we can open this up here. Give me just a moment. So, there we go. And then you can see like all these miniatures here, right? Actually, the focus works quite well here, so you can see it. You can see them well. I don't have to come too close because these are like really big. These are really, really big. And you put like these on your on your mats, but wow, these look amazing. Take a look at all of these. Isn't that amazing? Wow. These look just great. This is crazy. This is crazy. This explains like the high price point for the game, but yeah, is this necessary? No, not at all. Does it look great? Yeah, it does. It really does. And here, look at that spaceship here really cool wow this is amazing like these are like the futuristic ones here uh these are i think the exploration buildings right um these one here are probably like the military buildings i suppose right there's like some kind of furnace here um yeah i'm not quite sure which which they all belong to that's something that i would have to figure out but very very cool these militias do look really great nice this is this will be a joy to play with, I'm quite sure. Yeah, very very nice. Like this house here is cool. You cannot really see it because it's like standing upright. But here, like with a little clock, clock tower, like almost like a little like a mini mini chapel, like a mini church. Very cool. And there's like some industry. Yeah, some some like some like industry uh, building here. Very cool. Did we look at all of them? Like at most of them, yeah. So really cool, I like that. And then what we also have, of course, is then the the smaller buildings here that I will be able to open up in just a moment. So these are like the different buildings you um, get as a reward, like the small ones here, right? Um, that you can also build on your like civilization mat, like on your region mat, right? You have like the large ones here that only exist once, and then you have like the small ones here. Um, so the yellow ones, and then we have the red ones over here right well they look a little brownish like red brown but still then we have the brown ones here the dark brown ones the little colleges the little huts and then we have like the gray ones here right and really cool like really like a lot of like small miniatures what we also have here are resources these are like the resources that are like as i said like you push around on your mat to indicate how many you have and these feel really these look really cool and feel great wow these look really cool like really shiny and this 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 is a lot of fun like the components of this game are a lot of fun definitely and then also you have like i will not play show you all four colors there's like blue yellow red uh, white and also red and there should be a fifth one. Oh, and here um green as well um for the five players right these are like the little uh towers that you put on the map and you can like place more towers like adjacent whenever you um, expand your influence, so to speak. And these little cubes, these are for something. I'm not quite sure for what these are. I'm not quite sure what these do. Um, I just can't remember it from the BGA implementation. Um, tracking something, I suppose. All right. And that was already the unboxing of the base game. Now, let me get the expansions here. 
expansion number one is plans and ploys that's actually the one that wasn't delivered in the first uh, delivery which i had to wait for because i wanted to like do this huge unboxing for you not just uh like uh, single ones right so um yeah also a really, really great art style here um and let's see it has like new landmarks very cool new landmarks where do you put where do you get them i don't know and then you have like more space tiles. also one replacement space tile. okay landmark cards oh they are landmark cards okay and then landmark tokens okay so and 10 more civilizations 50 more tapestry cards right so a lot of stuff in here in the small expansion so let's just take a look at this so we have like a rule book again um all right yeah just not not too many rules but still it's like setup changes hmm so i would have to like like when you like play a game with all expansions you have a lot of rule books to go through and then it's your autumn and shadow empire okay so that changes as well okay interesting and then here we have new tiles okay so these space tiles right we have already looked at the other ones these look pretty similar right there's one that isn't replaced this one this one here oh there was a misprint in the first printing but i think i don't have the first printing here right um i definitely shouldn't have the first printing that be, should be okay so let me just see normal usually uh so many games shows in here which printing it is but no i don't see it this time here uh no not this time okay then i don't know which which printing i have but i guess like i just ordered it so i guess the newest one um and then here we have uh these landmark tiles very cool these look pretty cool as well and here we have oh we actually have um we have a bag here okay Ah, oh, that that feels really similar. I think it's the same one that is also Libertalia Winds of Gay Crest. I think that's exactly the same bag. <laughs> Very cool. Which is a good thing because that was a good bag. And then let me open this up here. Here we have new cards. Uh, yeah, these are just new new cards. I don't think it will be too excited to take a look at. But let me still open this up to see um, if there's anything uh, noteworthy. There might be new reference cards, right? So oh that's for the bot that is for the bot here and then we here we have new tapestry cards that i of course don't know because i haven't played with the expansions yet and here we have like these landmark cards really cool and i guess this is where you put the landmark then on okay yeah nice very cool there's like and not where you put it on but where you get the, the landmark um okay also let's take a look under the insert anything there nope of course nothing there and then here we have like the new civilizations which i will also not use because i have the rebalanced sift pack but yeah very cool these just look great spies Ooh, exciting so you really need to like like really lot of stuff here these all like work very differently but that's like the main gist of the game like the main the main draw of the game so to speak right and then here we have like again new uh new landmarks and these look great as well don't they look great oh i love this one here this one is cool just like this cube and then also we have like this one is also nice this one like this skyscraper one very very cool they all look great so yeah really nice really really nice and that was already like the uh the unboxing so to speak of the first expansion um let me just put everything like on here and uh let me just put that all aside for now and let's get the other expansion here next up we have arts and architecture and um, the box is a little bit is a little bit bigger here again uh, but not as big as the 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 base game um, another expansion um that even even more landmarks um will it have these landmark cards again yeah landmark cards again new tapestry cards new tech cards or like these inventions right masterpiece cards these are new and also you remember that um i said like the main board has like four tracks now there's a fifth track i don't quite know where you would put it but there's like a fifth track now so this is actually i think the expansion that like uh like gives like breezy the, the most change so to speak right because you now have the arts and architecture track i think that's how it's called um so here we have like new new rule book which is like a little bit longer again because oh there's like a few things you have like masterpiece cards you have that new arts track inspiration tiles new tapestry cards it's interesting to see that to have one more track because it's going to be even harder to like get to the end of one track now right so i don't know 
Interesting. Um, civilization adjustments. Okay. Um, but I guess this also doesn't really matter, like, with the Civ pack, right? But I guess they already, like, did a few um, civilizations, um, like, a few adjustments for the civilizations here. Okay. And then we have also, oh, no, that didn't quite survive the, uh, the delivery, but that's fine. Then we have, like, a new Automa thing again. Oh, that looks nice here. Uh, new Automa rules. Very cool. Also, like, the Shadow Empire thing again. And a new reference guide, of course, because we have a new track, right? And also new uh, new tech cards. Oh, how I call them inventions. Then in here, oh, what is this? Ooh, let me open this up. So let's see what's in here. Oh, oh, we have new, we have new of these, uh, new like, regions here. I'm not quite sure how you call them, but that is amazing. Oh, look at this. That looks interesting. Oh, you don't have like these squares anymore. Now you have it like this. Oh, but that's kind of tough to build on. But very cool. All right. That is nice. I love that. Cool. And they have like specific, um, specific like uh, conditions here as well. Like some of them. Really cool. And then here also we have new, um, new civilizations, of course which will also be replaced by the Sif pack. <laughs> Gamblers, oh cool, relentless. All right, exciting, very, very exciting. So I think this will be like the most uh, the most interesting expansion to take a look at, but first let's take a look under the insert again. Nope, nothing there. So let's uh, just see here what we have. So uh, we have some tiles here. What do these do? Oh, okay. We have some tiles here. Uh, I mean, yeah, of course, the thickness again. They, these feel great. These feel and look really great. Like all the tiles that we've taken a look at. And here we have new landmark tiles. This is something here. Okay, lots of new stuff here, which I don't really have no idea what that does. Um, and then here we have the new arts track that. Uh, just black on the other side and then we can just like you probably just put it on one side of the board right like below the other track like a fifth track very cool very very nice oh and these don't have a specific resource that makes sense these are all just wilds so that means the art track is actually like the easiest to actually advance on hmm interesting okay cool and then of course here we have like new uh new tapestry cards and new um and new tech cards. Let me just open that up quickly so we can take a look at that as well. There we, ouch, there we go. So, um, yeah, new tapestry cards here. Very cool, there's so many tapestry cards now. And here are then the um, the new tech cards. Okay, cool. Uh, with the art, of course, included here. Mm -hmm. And here, new Automa cards. And new Automa stuff, Automa stuff, Automa stuff, and then the landmark cards here. Cool. But there are not enough landmark cards for all the landmarks, right? Because here are eight, and this is only five cards. I don't know. Maybe you can get the other landmarks some other way. And it's like, cool, you have like everything in the insert you need. Just, um, I will not use that because I will use the, uh, the, the uh, additional insert there. Um, because I want to have everything in the base game. And here we have like small cards here. Let me open those up. Because this is like completely different cards, right? These are like small, like really small format. Oh, these are these masterpiece cards. Yeah, it says they're masterpiece. Okay. I don't know how you can get those. Maybe you can get those uh, via the arts track, I suppose. Mm, I don't know, maybe. And these, they give you specific things. Like many victory points and a few resources. Okay, cool. Very nice. Then we have a new die here. Um, of course, because we need the arts track as well, right? That replaces probably the other green die. And then here we have just cubes. These are just a few cubes. Let me just open. Oh, these are just, re this is just uh, more cubes here. Okay. You see there? Yeah, okay. That makes sense. All right. That works. And then like the we have of course new uh, new landmarks and these look amazing as well. Take a look at this. Wow, these look so cool. 
Ah, oh, this is unnecessary, but it's so cool. These just look great. Amazing. Just amazing. Like this castle here. How crazy is this? Especially since it's like it's angled, right? It's not like it's not like straight, like perpendicular. It's like actually angled, and that makes it like look even cooler. Ah, oh, man, this is just the production value here of this game is through the roof. Crazy, very very cool. All right, so now um that was that expansion, and now the last expansion that is needed is the fantasies and futures one and i think that one is a little bit like even a little bit fantasy focused so let's take a look at that and then we can take the next expansion which is the fantasies and futures one and that is just like a like a thick envelope i've already opened it but not looked into it of course and i guess these just expand like these just bring us this new uh cards and new uh civilizations and stuff i suppose so let's take a look uh let me just do it like this Tapestry Ud. Uh, what is this? This book will contain the interior rules for the base game and for the expansions. Oh, oh, we have a new rule book for Tapestry because that's the last expansion and they will not um, publish any more. So we have like a rule book for everything. So one thing I would like to know now, does also like, does it like say this is part of that expansion or do you have to play with everyone then? Oh no, you see, you see here, um, this is like, you see like which expansion you actually play with uh it's kind of small you can hardly see it but there's like aa right for arts and architecture there's like pp for plans and ploys and ff for fantasies and futures right so you see like which expansion needs what so you can actually yeah you can actually say like which expansions you play with and then like read only those rules wow this is amazing this is really well done yeah wonderful wow really good and here as well, yeah, it says here, Fantasy Futures, Arts and Architecture. This is amazing. This is truly amazing. And also, like, the, the cards here, they are sorted uh, by, uh, like, alphabetically. That is amazing. Wow. Really cool. Really cool. And then here we have new uh, new regions. I'm not quite sure how you call them. I always say, like, regions. Then we are up to 17 different regions. That is a lot. There's so much replay value here. Oh yeah, this is fantasy. Like, look at these unicorns and these ghosts here. This is, oh, this is weird. City in a bottle isn't, oh, that's cool. That is cool. Then you have like some orcs or goblins or whatever. Imps, imps, oh, these are imps, okay. And here we have like paths. Oh, that is, that is really strange. But I think I like it. Yeah, okay, this is like uh, the fantasy kind of thing then. That's kind of weird because it kind of like breaks the immersion, right? But it's also like kind of cool. Yeah, look at this. Like, it really becomes like fantasy. Like, wow. This is really weird. But it's funny. I like that. Then, of course, we have like a new rule book here also for the, like a new rule sheet for the Shadow Empire to play a variant. And also like in your Automa rule book. And everything is like marked for the expansion. So you can like play with one expansion, with two, with three, without any. Really cool. And then we also have like new uh new cards here. Let me just open these up. There we go. So Alien Disclosure, Astro Expeditions. Yeah, it's like all like this fantasy thing here. Doppelgangers, Dream Monitors, yeah, okay. Cool. Ghost ship, that has a different colour here. You see, like these are all like a lighter and this one is dark. I don't know why. Okay. Oh, because these are cards you can discard for some effect. And here just uh, more reference cards. Okay. And then here we have even more tapestry cards. Yeah, the Kraken, very cool. League of the Charmed. These are like superheroes here. That is funny. Phantasmal Paladins. This is weird. This is really weird, but I think I like it. And then also we have like new inventions. Are these like weird as well? Oil paint, golem minions. Yes, they are. Levitation, mind control. Yeah, really, really, really funny. I like that. And then here, oh, and here you have something else. Something new. I don't know what that is. Oh, because, oh, do we have more, more, um, more tapestry cards now? I don't know. And then here we have some landmark cards again. Very cool. So that is the Fantasies and Futures expansion. And then we have two more things to take a look at. 
Number one is the updated sieves. That will be only semi-interesting. I just want to show it to you because this will just, yeah, just a lot of civilizations in here. Um, let me just quickly open this up. So there we go. So first of all, we have something here. Tapestry landmark base. Okay. The civil oh, civilization complexity. They added that. Oh, that is great. That is nice. So you can actually take a look at and also like see which expansions they are. But you can see like how how complex they are. That is great. That is wonderful. And tapestry. This is just. Mm, is that? That's not all the landmarks. I don't know what that is. Can you open? Oh. Uh, oh wait. Okay. Here are the other landmarks. All right. So you have land like all these landmarks here, and there as well. And then you have the civilization complexity here. Very nice. I love that. And oh, okay, some of the like two of the uh, of the region maps were also replaced again. Okay, cool. And then here, like this, just explains um, some of these things, like what has been replaced. Very, very cool. And um, another thing we have, of course, like the main thing here, right? These are like all these civilizations. These are like all thirty-one civilizations of the other expansions. All of them rebalanced, right? Like all of them completely. So. That is pretty cool. So we will use these, of course, right? We will use all of these these civilizations, then, of course. Um, not the fantasy and futures ones. These um, didn't need to be rebalanced um, the way it looks like. Okay, very cool as well. And then the very last thing, finally, we have is the folded space insert here. Um, but, I mean, showing you, like, the, the sheets of the insert wouldn't be too interesting. So let me just show you the final insert. So there we go. Like here we have like the uh, the final insert, right? Um, it's not too much. It's like less than I thought at first. So here we put in the cards, right? Um, then here we have um, for the players. One thing that's kind of weird is we have like these four small ones for the players. And then we have like this larger gray one for the, for the other player, I think at least, right? That's kind of weird because why is this one so large? But that's maybe just because it needs to fit in the box. Um, but all are pretty cool. Like you see, like here, like all the you put in, like all the landmarks. But they don't have like any uh, any divisions here. So I'm not quite sure how that like works. If you can like put that good like in there like well, I'm not quite sure yet. But looking forward to actually seeing how that works. So then we have here, um, here you put in like the tiles, right? The space tiles and the regular ones. In here, I'm not quite sure. Ah, these are like these uh these these uh, cardboard tracks that I didn't know what they did, like in one of the expansions, I think the arts and architecture one. And then here I made one small mistake um, because the uh, the image, like the, the the rules this time, the instructions for the folded space insert this time, they weren't as good as uh, they usually are because it all, like always showed like the, um, the dice in the bottom right. So I put them there, but you see like these are now the other way around. So you put like, like this in the insert but these dice here then are like the wrong way around, right? But it's not too bad. You can only see it like with the number over there, but that's not horrible. But yeah, so that is the insert. Um, I'm really looking forward to uh, now assembling um, tapestry. I will now definitely do that. And if it looks interesting enough, I might even uh, record like something like a reboxing so you can, uh, so I can show you how that then will look like. But that concludes my unboxing of tapestry like the entire package including uh like all three expansions the sift pack and the folded space insert i really hope you enjoyed it and thank you so much thank you so much for watching this unboxing took a little bit longer but that's uh, due to first of all me being uh, very hurt here and also uh like a lot of stuff to be shown off so i really hope you enjoyed it as usual, I want to thank all of you for your support. I really appreciate every single one of you. I especially want to thank my generous patrons. And the biggest thanks go out of Thakano, who is the most generous support at the highest tier. Thank you so much for that. You can support me in numerous ways, by watching my videos, by liking them, by commenting below them, by subscribing to my channel if you enjoy my content enough, which would be amazing, by supporting me on Patreon, and by joining my Discord server to hang out with me and my amazing community. All right, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the very next video. Take care, everyone. Stay safe, and cheers.